Well, a national coalition of 100 black women advocates on behalf of young black women and girls to promote leadership and development in gender equality. And the nonprofit specializes in the areas of education, health, and economic empowerment. Here joining us today to talk about the health initiative they're running is Greater Huntsville Chapter President, Dr. Lori McCauley. Thank you so much for joining us. So give us a little bit of information about the Feminine Hygiene Product Drive and who this benefits. Well, first of all, thank you for, for having us here. Uh, our drive is for all low-income, really women. And see, the Kimberly Clark recently did a survey in 2021, and 42% of all low-income women cannot afford feminine products. Wow. And out of the 42%, one-third have missed work, school, and special events. And what we are here for, we're trying to gather products up for the low-income women and girls in our community. We are appreciative that our state did pass a law last year that will provide free feminine products for Title I schools, colleges and universities, and the females in prison. But uh, it was not adequately funded. It was $200,000 mm -hmm. roughly for the whole state. And so what we're saying, we want to collect these supplies and distribute it to all the schools in Madison County. Wow. You know, that's our area, the Greater Hansa area. So we also looking at middle schools because Alabama and as well as the state, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, excuse me, the United States, our young girls are starting their menstrual cycle almost two years in advance in other countries. So we're looking at middle school girls and high school girls and trying to provide the products for all. So how are you all gathering these items and how can people donate? Can they donate items? Yes, they can. Uh, they can look at our website. We have a donation button, but also our public policy chair, uh, Robin Drake, her and her team have got these beautiful pink boxes that they have decorated and they have distributed them across the town. And if your business would like to have a box, they can contact us via our website or our Facebook page and we would love to bring them on. We really would like for them to donate products in a variety of other ways because some young girls, you got to think about the age range mm -hmm. and be sensitive to all those things. We know that there is almost 42% poverty in Huntsville City Schools. Wow. And so you have these girls that go into school and the average girl from low income who doesn't have the products and they use unsanitary means, they miss school, they miss the academic instructions. So it's important to us that, that it's seamless for them because it, it is a natural process and it should be natural mm -hmm. that we help them through this uh, journey that they're on. They'll be on there for quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And how many years have you all been doing this? This is our first one we're launching. Uh, yeah, we're excited about it. We hope this, we know it's going to be successful mm -hmm. because that's, that's our city. We, we are known to be generous, especially for those uh, that are the least of these. And when is the deadline? When is the deadline? I think it's the end of January. Okay. So, uh, so people just, have plenty of time plenty to of donate, go time, out and buy please, and fly. find those donation boxes across the, the city and yes. drop them off. And churches will have them. But if your church or your organization would like to participate, we are welcoming you. Absolutely. You know? Thank you so much for joining us to talk about this very important topic and the very important drive you're doing. If you're interested in learning more about the organization and the Feminine Hygiene Product Drive, just visit our website, whnt.com. We've got all the helpful links there.